the fox and the grapes. A hungry fox coming into a vineyard where there hung delicious clusters of ripe grapes, his mouth watered to be at them. But they were nailed up to a trellis so high, and with all his springing and leaping, he could not reach a single bunch. At last, growing tired and disappointed, let who will take them, says he, but they are both green and sour, so I'll let them alone. Application. To affect to despise that which they have long and ineffectually laboured to obtain is the only consolation to which weak minds can have a recourse, both to palliate their inability and to take off the bitterness of disappointment. There is a strange propensity in mankind to this temper, and there is a numerous class of vain coxcombs in the world, who, because they would never be thought to be disappointed in any of their pursuits, pretend a dislike to everything they cannot obtain. The discarded statesmen, considering the corruption of their times, would not have any hand in the administration of affairs for the world. The needy adventurer and pretended patriot would fain despatch persuade all who will listen to them that they would not go cringing and creeping into a drawing room for the best place the king has at his disposal. Worthless young fellows who find that their addresses to virtue and beauty are rejected and poor rogues who laugh to scorn the rich and great are all alike in saying like sly Reynard the grapes are sour.